Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today we continue our Fallout 3 No Healing Run. We are currently sitting at 304 of 310 hit points. And we are going to continue the Ghoul Quest Tenpenny Tower. So, now we have another option, and that is to talk to Tenpenny to see if we can't convince uh, him to let the ghouls move in. There are a couple of ways to go about uh, convincing the residents to let the ghouls move in. Uh, a good handful of them don't mind, but ultimately there are some that must be dealt with. So, I am going to cut away now, and I will be back as soon as we are at Tenpenny Tower, assuming nothing else happens in the meantime. I didn't mention it last time, but over there, up top, there's a missile launcher and a handful of Rataways and Rad Xs. The whole area is swimming in radiation, though, so it is most definitely not worth trying to get over there. At any rate, we'll pop back into Tenpenny Tower really quickly here and be uh, on our way all the way up to Tenpenny himself in a second. Interesting little note. Tenpenny Tower's lobby has unique music. You can only find it here. Nowhere else in the game is that particular little clip of music or the elevator music, as it were. And here we are with Tenpenny. You have a curious look about you. I. Why? I don't suppose I'd mind terribly if ghouls were to live here. Huh. I tell you. Yep. And so, if we can convince those five residents, we'll be all good to let the ghouls move in. Fortunately, I don't have a particularly high speech check, uh, speech skill, pardon me, which means the speech checks that I will have to do likely won't succeed means we're going to have to take some creative uh, liberties in how we convince, quote-unquote, the residents to let the ghouls live here. So I believe we will start by wandering around and finding a couple of people's houses. So give me a sec to find the appropriate house. Ah, here we go. Right here, along with a uh, Tales of Jerktown vendor, there is a love letter. This love letter, if you've never read it, is to Susan from... Ooh, I can't remember the name of the guy. But, if you show uh, his wife the love letter, she goes berserk and kills her husband and Susan and then leaves. And that's three of the five people we need to convince right out of the gate. So, let me just find... Introductions mm, are in... Let's see. Dear... Ha! I... They may appear... You... I know it, and even if... Ah, so here, here's the option. Oh my god. He's dead. I'll kill him. And her. They're both dead. This isn't happening. This isn't real. Oh, it most certainly is. What are you talking about, dears? Is everything all right? Let me remind you. Till death do us part. No! And now she will search out for Susan, who I believe is downstairs at the moment. Ooh, geez. <laughs> now there she goes. Alright, let's quickly search him. Grab the key. 
And we'll take that because that might help our speech. Let's see. Oh, where'd she go? Two. Down here. Oh, I hear the gunshots. I think right. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. I missed it, but. Let's see. What does Susan have? Oh, some bottle caps. Now, I don't know if we talk to her or what she'll do. Well, eventually she'll leave Tenpenny Tower, but as far as the game is concerned... Ah, there she goes, now she's on her way. As far as the game is concerned, she is no longer uh, objecting to the ghouls, which makes my life real easy. Now we just need to find the other two residents and convince them. There's a couple of ways we can do this, but I think we'll try the more civilized way first. So I'll be right back. What the heck? And there we go, there's the civilized way to do Hawthorne. Now, we just have to go and find one more resident. Yes. Whom I can't remember the name of either, but I'll find it and I'll cut back in a sec. Hey. And so we find Anthony, I'm whom I quickly That's checked and made sure was the right guy. It's we have a speech check to do, right here, and there's no way to talk him into it. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to quickly put on all my speech stuff. Pop that up, and uh, is there anything else? No, just that. Okay, uh, oh, uh, it's not worth it. We'll hang on to that. So, here we go. Best try. One in four chance. Let's go for it. In case you have a fabulous Okay, well, that means we have to do things the hard way. And the hard way is stealing from him. Science average locked hard. Uh, let me just check something, one sec. Okay, so my science is at 44. And with the vault uniform, science uniform, I can bring it up to 49. However, I don't think I can bump it that last little bit because my intelligence is already at 10. So, unfortunately, we need to figure out how to get our science up exactly one point so that we can crack his terminal, so that we can open the safe, and when we steal all the contents of the safe, if we wait, I think it's like six hours or something like that, and talk to him, he'll ramble on about, oh, I'm ruined, and then leave. So, one second while I figure out how I'm going to bump my science up this one point. I accidentally forgot about uh, Ms. Montenegro here, so we'll give it a quick ch uh, try on the speech. No. Yeah. Oh well, we can deal with her the exact same way as Mr. Uh, Ting or whatever. We can just crack the terminal, crack the safe, and she will leave once her business is ruined. Aha, here we go. Something I had overlooked, um, just because I didn't want to come this way, because right through this door is all those feral ghouls that will flood into Tenpenny Tower. So, with that book, we can put this guy on. And, unfortunately, we're not going to get two points for reading it, just the one. But, with that, our science is now 50, so we can hack those terminals, kick everybody else out, and get the Tenpenny Tower quest done, as well as head back to Moria and complete the radiation quest. So, I will be back when we are with Tenpenny. Um, or rather, I'll be back as soon as I'm cracking into the computers and uh, kicking the people out because of their ruined business. So, one second. And here we are. It is midnight at Tenpenny Tower. Perfect time to go rooting through people's stuff. Our science is 50. So let's crack this thing open and uh, ruin some lives. Oh, 
Look at that. First try. How nice. Disengage lock. Open safe. Take the bottle caps. And that should truly and thoroughly break him. Now just to swing, oops, I swing the door into my face. Uh, now just to swing over to the other side of Pinpin Tower. Man, a lot of people up for 11 or midnight. Uh, boutique Hello. La Chic. Yeah, go away, buddy. Nobody wants you. Don't mind me. And hidden. And crack into this guy. There we go. Got it. I had to cancel out once and can't get back in, but... Disengage lock. Coincidentally, that's 500 bottle caps we just got. So, even if we wind up not getting the reward from... Gustav, we're well in, in the clear anyway. Also, this is a good source of food if you eat food for some weird reason. And some scrap metal. And some scrap metal. Ooh. And up we go. Let's see, who is this? Just a regular resident. Okay, so I am not sure at this point how long we have to wait before the shop owners return and crack. I'm a little bit paranoid that they are going to like start shooting at me or something because I just did steal 500 bottle caps, but hey, whatever. Let's see. Okay, well I'll cut back when I figure out who I... Uh, or how long I have to wait. One sec. Beauty rest. Ah, that's it. Tenpenny promised me safety and security. And that damn useless Gustavo lets thieves run amok. This is the last straw. I'm leaving. So, all I had to do was wait until about 9 or 10 a.m. I'm not sure which. I kind of just waited for a good amount of time. And he came in and saw his store and cracked. And so she should do the same right about now. Let's see. Let's talk to her, see what she says. Oh, I can't believe it. With all of Gustav, I thought I was safe here. All right. And I believe that is all of the residents that we needed to deal with in order to get Ten Penny's approval. So, just before we go and tell Tin Penny the good news and then tell Roy the good news. We are gonna hop up and uh, talk to Herbert Daring Dashwood while we have the chance. Good to see you. So we've talked to Herbert. He's given us the key to the generator room which we could use if we were so inclined to uh, yeah, to just let the ghouls run in and kill everybody. That said, if we even if we allow the ghouls to come in peacefully, they still kill everybody. Oh, and uh, as one last thought to the particular level I was on, you could tell that the music changed to the wandering out in the wasteland music, whereas now it is loaded in the hotel elevator music. talking to me? I thought you were talking to the dead body. Keep going. Just pass, phase right on through. Anyway, to Tenpenny. You have a curious look of... Well, if my tenants want ghoul me, you're a... It's a bit... Then we get 500 bottle caps for our troubles. Your con we're gonna see if we can leave Tenpenny alive and take his sniper rifle away. just means we have to do this. Yeah, keep going. No. And away goes ten pen. Look at that. We will 
will grab all of this stuff and his unique suit. But that's not right. We shouldn't just leave him here. That would be mean. So over you go. Hopefully none of the residents down there mind that. But with that, we're going to quickly hop over and talk to Roy. Let him know it's good to come in. Well, kid, what have you accomplished? I'll be dead. Really? Here's a little something for your trouble. And with that, we get the ghoul mask and enough experience to level up. I'm going to think for a second about how to place this level up, so one sec. So I'm going to move small guns up a fair ways and speech up a little bit. As far as this is concerned, I believe we're going to go with comprehension, but let's just double check here. Yeah, I think comprehension is where it's at. With that, we're going to quickly... Up in here and book, 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 book. So that should help all of our stats a little bit. Now I'm gonna quickly let's see here. Pop on the ghoul mask and take a shortcut to Tenpenny Tower, where we will. Uh, quickly steal the key from Gustav and his supply so that we can raid it before everybody dies. Also, you'll notice all the ghouls are now neutral to us, which is excessively handy. Although, there's only three of them, so it's not... Oh, maybe there's more around here. Oh, yeah, there's... Hmm. Lots of radiation, too. Either way, I'll find my way, and I'll come back when I'm with Gustav. testing something here. Evidently, with the ghoul mask, you can just go ahead and kill all these guys and they'll never get mad at you. So, a couple of points of free experience. Oops. Sorry, buddy. Twenty-five experience on the Romer or Reuter or whatever the hell is over here. Let's see. Ah, here he is. There we go. That was some free experience. We look like a wreck. Though. A scientific wreck, though. A smart wreck. Anyway, as soon as I'm back with Chief, I'll be back. So, I just realized that Gustavo here only gets the Arnim key after he dies. Since I don't have the... Uh, the Mr. Sandman perk, I can't kill him quietly. And there is no real way to kill him without every single guard in the area getting real upset. So, that said, I am just going to trade with him normally, and then I think I'll call it a part after this. What? And so with that, we complete Tenpenny Tower, or as much of it as I'm going to do. We have acquired a nice shiny new sniper rifle. We have leveled up, which has boosted our health to 314 out of 320. And we have done it all without taking any damage or any rats. Next time I will be uh, in Megaton, and we will be pressing on with Moria's quest to write the Wasteland Survival Guide. And with a bit of luck, we will also be crushing her dreams. Anyway, with that, We'll see you guys later.